Hi guys, welcome back to our new mod pack sort of thing. I don't know if I could call it new. <laughs> it's kind of been a while since I've done another episode on this. Uh, so, pretty much, haven't really done much in this episode compared to the last episode, but hey, I, I tried to do some things. I decided I was going to go to the nether. Remembered I had better nether. And freaked out and went home. <laughs> I am not prepared for the nether yet. I really don't think I have the right uh, materials to go through and do all of that. I decided that uh, I'm gonna harvest my crops and at this point I realized that with Croptopia I don't have to break the crops, I can just right click them and get them. And it keeps the plant in the ground without me having to break it. So good thing I learned that now <laughs> rather than later. Uh, what are we doing? At this point I'm doing something rather- Oh, that's right, I'm gonna make an enchanting table. <laughs> it's so hard to remember what I'm doing between like so many different series. <laughs> so I do apologize. But I decide that I am going to go and collect a whole bunch of different woods. Uh, all before I make my enchanting table because for some reason I want to collect a whole bunch of wood. And I actually collect a fair amount of different ones. This one was so annoying because it was just too big. So it didn't matter, like the tree actually just couldn't break it until I got to a certain point of chopping it. So I was like, nope, I'm gonna go chop another tree. I eventually go back and chop it, but I don't have the footage of that. I decide I'm gonna go uh, look at one of these stone helm villages. So these are underground. Looted it. Not that there was great loot. <laughs> Normally isn't in these anyway but I decided to loot it and go through and check. Occasionally you'll get graveyards, not graveyard, yeah, kind of like, more like crypts in these places and they actually have decent loot. But yeah, I just went through, had a look. Oh, I managed to get a diamond from here. Well, there you go. Maybe there was good loot. <laughs> I also then decided I wanted to cut down an ebony tree. Unfortunately, they are also ones that are too big. So you have to uh, cut down a certain amount before you can break the whole thing. At this point, I'm still adventuring, looking for more trees, and I get attacked, and I freak out, I realise it's a piranha. Piranhas are in the jungle biome, or anything close to a jungle biome. So I was like, that's great. <laughs> I thought maybe I could hit them. I don't know why, I was, I was too far away from them. <laughs> Found another underground village, and I looted that. This one wasn't as big as the first one, I don't think. But it was good to loot anyway. I then went to different villages and different areas to get more different trees. At this point I am deciding, okay, I'm going to build chests. My in inventory's full and my chests up here are not, not doing too well. And I completely forgot that I had the iron chests mod. So I'm going to make some iron chests. <laughs> Even though iron's not the first year. I've got to make copper chests first. But I try to find places to shove everything so I have some room for stuff because I'm not going to have enough room for everything. I was also worried at this point that I wasn't going to have enough uh, copper. I had to go and get a whole bunch of sand too because I didn't have enough <laughs> and I just sort of did this one by one so I could start moving stuff. Also have our mirage of dogs which I don't think we had last episode. I could be very wrong. I went out and got a whole bunch of dogs <laughs> and forgot to record getting the dogs. <laughs> but I use my first one or some of my first ones for wood and such. I go over and check on my witchery stuff because why not? I somehow bone mealed that. I don't know if right clicking the butterfly made it bone meal it. I have no clue. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to now do my enchanting setup. I end up getting frustrated and I tear it down a couple of times because I'm just not happy with how I have it and I wasn't getting high enough enchanting levels. 
I wanted it to look fancy and pretty and I just, yeah. <laughs> I eventually gave up trying to make it look pretty after a while. I decided I'm gonna go plant some sugar cane now because I needed more because I definitely didn't have enough. <laughs> For some reason I decided only four was enough. I honestly don't know why. And here I am tearing everything apart again because I'm not happy with it at all. And at that point I decided it was good enough. I ended up killing a creeper with another creeper, which is like one of the first times I've ever done that in Minecraft. So I had to make sure I had that in the footage. It also came across a, a lush creeper, which was kind of weird. So apparently when they explode, it just makes it like a lush cave terrain. <laughs> I went on a massive mining expedition here because I was running out of iron and everything. I ended up finding an axolotl and I was like, you're coming home with me because I want an axolotl. I still struggle to this day to capture axolotls. <laughs> I don't know why. I then found a mine shaft, which then led into an amethyst geode, which was good. <laughs> so I was like, cool, more stuff. And then I kind of just was like, okay, whatever, let's go to looting. So I actually found a couple of good chests down here. And I also got a disc in uh, from it as well. Which I th actually no, we got two discs, which are from a more discs mod, because why not? We can create like a library, not library, a musical place. I don't know. <laughs> At this point, I decided I'm going to make a lava dripstone farm. And sometimes I have some dumb moments on this. I do apologize. <laughs> so I slowly add in my lava, add in the next one. And I only have one on, oh no, on this one I have two. I thought I only had one at the time, <laughs> but no, I have two. I do have to get another one though. I decided to check out what we can do in our bewitchment mod. Now I managed to get a whole bunch of silver on my mining expedition. So I was like, cool, <laughs> we'll make a, a dagger. Alfame, I think they call it. So I start getting the stripped bark from the wood and it's not a guaranteed drop each time. And I was like, cool, yep, I'll do it with this type of wood. And then I decided I was gonna try it with a U-log, not realizing that you can't. So every time I was right clicking to try and scathe the bark, I was actually hurting myself. <laughs> decided we finally need a witch witch's cauldron. And so I just had to have a look. Now I get this recipe wrong like once, twice, I think, because I just can't remember recipes for the life of me. <laughs> and then I finally get it right. And I decide I'm gonna put it down here in the basement with all of our ingredients so it'll make it a lot easier to get at. <laughs> I decide to have a quick look at the usage and see what it can be used for. Because it actually has a couple of different us usages. I also had to then look at altars which we'll have to eventually build to increase our magic ability or manage magic energy. <laughs> And I decided to have a look at all the different types of altars you can make, which is quite good. It gives you selection so you can sort of have your little witchy area be what suits your needs. I 
I also found that we have uh, different types of clothing for different aspects of things, which is quite interesting. When I can eventually figure out how to make this stuff, I will, and I'll put it on the armor stand down here so we can just display it <laughs> if we're not wearing it. I also had a look at this brambles page, which shows us different uh, types of brambles and they all have their own little effects, which is quite interesting as well. Other than looking at what's left in this book, that was pretty much all I managed to get up to this episode. I've been quite busy lately, so I apologize. But that was our episode of uh, our Minecraft mod pack. If you guys like it, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.